Now, who doesn't love rice or pasta or bread or potatoes? You get the hint. They're starchy. They're starch. And millions and millions of people worldwide are eating this every single minute. But what if I told you that you can take your rice, your potatoes, your pastas, as well as your bread, and lower the carb content in that. You're saying, how? Oh, you may be thinking, oh, I eat less, I have less carbs. No, you eat the exact same amount that you've always been eating, and you will lower the carb intake into your body. In other words, when those carbs break down into glucose, they get assimilated into the bloodstream, into the cells of our body. But if there's less glucose, you get less sugar. And how do we do that? So if you have rice that was just cooked and you eat it, you're going to be getting those carbs. Obviously, white rice is not as much, we'll say, fibrous as brown rice or natural rice, but just like pasta or like potatoes. But let's put that aside for right now. But if we take our rice or those starchy foods and we refrigerate them overnight, at least 12 hours. And if you refrigerate them even up to 24 hours or longer, you'll get more resistant starch. And when we refrigerate these starchy foods, the rice, the potatoes, as well as the pastas, it goes through what we call retrogradation. And this means that the starch molecules are changing due to the refrigeration. And when they change, they form a resistant starch. So, when we eat resistant starches, it makes its way into our stomach, into the small intestine, and we normally have enzymes that digest those carbohydrates to get absorbed into our bloodstream. But we don't have enzymes that digest resistive starch. So what happens is that it makes its way to the colon. And in the colon, we have probiotics. And these probiotics are our healthy bacteria that's flourishing through our system to keep us healthy. But guess what? Those probiotics love resistant starch. Resistant starch works like a prebiotic, and prebiotics is what we feed the probiotics. So when these probiotics meet with this resistant starch, they have a field day, a munch day. They're, they're busy eating away. And in that colon, the short-chain fatty acids are being secreted, and there's one main short chain fatty acid that we're concerned with is called butyrate. And butyrate does magical things for our body. What does it do? It protects the colonocytes. It keeps the colon strong. It's known to help prevent to a high degree colon cancer. It also reduces inflammation through our entire body. So if you are having chronic inflammation, any symptom, it may be your stomach, maybe your joints, it may be anywhere in your body, it's gonna help reduce that inflammation. It's going to make you more insulin sensitive. And butyrate can help protect the brain, reducing inflammation, and it's neuroprotective. And getting back to the gut, because that's where the majority of all disease starts from. This will help a leaky gut. We call it leaky gut syndrome. This will help heal the gut if you're having chronic IBS, digestive issues, bloating, or any type of intestinal problem. This is only an asset for you to help your body repair and heal. And these prebiotics, these resistant starches, are fiber. This will help your peristalsis. It will help prevent constipation. And if you're having a hard time losing weight, it's probably because you have an unhealthy gut. And by adding these prebiotics, these resistant starches, as well as healthy fiber, that will allow your inside of your colon, your probiotics to flourish. Remember that the colon and the brain work together. Everything starts in the colon. So make sure you're not filling up on those refined and processed sugars, those candies, those sodas, because that's going to flourish on the bad bacteria like candida. That's why it's so common in females. Thrush. All those problems start from poor diet. Remember, a healthy diet 
will help you lose weight so much quicker. And because your breads have starch, even freezing your bread will still go through that retrogradation. It will increase the resistant starch. You won't digest as many carbs. It will still feed your gut. Those short chain fatty acids will turn to butyrate. It will decrease inflammation and do those wonderful things in your body as well. So the bottom line is this. You are going to decrease your carbohydrate intake. You are going to increase your insulin sensitivity. You're going to increase the function of your colon, as well as constipation, as well as any type of dysfunction, disease, IBS that's going on within your colon. It's going to help it. You're feeding the good bacteria. When you have healthy bacteria, a healthy gut, you're going to have a healthy body. You're going to have a healthy metabolism. Your, your hormones are going to function better in your brain as well as in your intestines. That's going to help you sleep better. It's going to help your nerves. It's going to help your neurotransmitters. It's going to help your anxiety. It can even help depression because everything works through a balanced system. And when your gut is off, everything starts to fail. So these resistant starch after refrigerated makes you more insulin sensitive, less insulin resistant. That means that your glucose can get to the cells much easier, less stress on the pancreas. You don't have to have that surge and surge of insulin, which can cause insulin resistance and lead to type two diabetes, as well as other complications, as well as metabolic syndrome. But these resistive starches will help you lose weight as well. Remember, it's all about portion control, but remember you have to exercise. You have to have a good diet. You have to sleep. Your stress levels have to be controlled, hydrate, get your vitamins and minerals, your fruits and vegetables, your natural healthy legumes, as well as your meats if you love them, the healthy meats, your healthy fats, your olive oils, your avocados. You still need to eat healthy. But the bottom line is carbs are not so bad if you know the science behind them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.